This is my guide to go from zero to 100,000 coins in Madden 24 Ultimate Team. Now, Soul Slicer family, and welcome back to another Madden 24 video. In this one, I'm gonna be going over my four step process, including one bonus tip to go from zero to 100K on your Madden Ultimate Team account. Okay, now let's start this off with step number one. This is honestly the most boring step of the process and the one that I can't really give you the most concrete tip for, and that's to kind of just grind through some solos and grind through field pass until you get up to 10,000 coins. Because before you're realistically at like 10 to 20,000 coins, there's not really any coin making methods you can do or coin making strategies you can do to double or triple your coin stack. Really, all you're going to have to do is go through, play some solo challenges, go through, get progress on your daily missions to get to like level three where you pick up the 10,000 coins or get to level two where you get this gold card you can sell off. And I know it's kind of too bad. There's not really an alternative to this, but go through, play your solos for 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, and you will easily be over 10 or 20 thousand coins for every solo you play in this game you get coins as you can see it's 500 coins per solo so play through some solos you'll get progress on the field pass you'll get coins from the challenges and then you're done step one all right step number two this is probably the most effective coin making method in madden 24 right now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on over to the marketplace tab and you're gonna go to the sets and the set we're gonna focus on is kind of a random one it's gonna be all the way down at the bottom you scroll all the way down right here and you will see the base team item set now to complete this set what you're going to have to do is pick up three gold players. So three cards ranging from 70 to 79 overall. And what you're going to look to do is you're going to look to buy these cards at a price of about 1000 coins. So let me go on over to the auction block. Let me pick up maybe three or six of these players so I can do this set one or two times and I'll show you how the numbers work. So yeah, once you're in the auction block, filter it down by the quality 70 to 74. There's no reason to look at 75 to 79 because realistically the 70 to 74s are going to be cheaper. Then what we're going to do is we're going to filter it down by all offense and then we're going to cycle through the teams, fellas. There's not really any more to it than this. Go to Bears, go to Bengals, go to Bills, go to Broncos. You're literally just sifting through every single team right here. Anytime you see a player selling at 1,000 coins or less, you buy it. It's that simple. What I'd recommend you do is go through every single team. Like, honestly, it's probably going to take you only a handful of minutes to go through and check out every single team. And if ever you see a card up for 1K or less, you buy it. That's the rule of thumb. It's pretty simple. So let's find a couple deals right here in the video for you guys. As you can see over on the Broncos tab, we see a card up for 1,000 coins. If I see any players again up at that price point, I buy them. I'm not just going to be buying like one player per team. If there were more than one Broncos card up for 1K, I would buy more than one player. All I'm going to do though again is just sift through. Let's get through every single team right here. I'll probably pick up maybe two more players or we might pick up five more cards. And honestly, as you're going through this, you don't need to be super strict about the 1K. Realistically, I'm not buying it anything more than like one point too, but if the card's up for like 1.1, I'm going to buy it because when you're doing this method, you're going to double your coins every single time. You guys will understand what I mean in just a second, uh, but you're basically doubling your coins every single time you do this method. So let's continue sifting through. We see quite a few players right here on the box. So we'll buy a couple of these and then we'll get up to six in total so we can do the set twice so I can show you guys kind of how that works. All right. So there we go. We've picked up our snipes. There's even more still available on this filter, but it is what it is. We have enough right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go on back to my sets and I'm going to go to the base team item set. All I'm going to do is click square, put these players into the set, and let me show you what you're going to do once you complete this. Now, once we complete this set, we open up the pack very simply. We click square. Then you're going to scroll all the way on over to the right until you get to the playbooks right here. If you want to, you can look at stadiums, you can look at coaches, you can look at uniforms, and maybe find some of those items that are expensive. But for me personally, the ones that I know are working right now are Jets offense and Patriots offense. And to be honest, boys, those are the only two that I've even really checked. I'm sure there's a ton of other playbooks that are selling at great prices. Really, all you're going to look to do is you're going to try and find a playbook selling for 6,000 coins or more. Once you're on this tab, this is offense. The other one is defense. We'll open up the offense right here and let's just select Patriots offense so I can show you guys exactly how this works. You're going to open this up. It's kind of too bad that there's so many steps before you can get to the pack. It kind of slows you down because if you couldn't tell, this is a volume based method. You're looking to do this as many times as you can. You're not looking for like that one really big snipe on the auction block. No, you're trying to do this as many times as you can. So Patriots offense right here. As you can see, drum roll, please. It's selling for 6,650 coins. We'll put it up for 6.5K and that's going to mean we're turning our 3,000 coins into 6,000 coins after tax. It's that simple, boys. It's really that easy. So let's say you go through here. You maybe do this 20 times at 3,000 coins of profit per set. You're making 60,000 coins and it's really not going to be that difficult to do this 20 times. It's not going to take you all that long. This is a really, really good way to get those coins up from like 10K, 20 
20k, 30k, up to a number like 70k, up to a number like 80k, where you can unlock some bigger coin making methods. And on the topic of bigger coin making methods, let's move on to talk about another one of those after we open this pack up. So there we go. I opened this up and I actually just picked Saints offense right here because Saints offense is one that people tend to like. And exactly as I suspected, we can sell this for 6.9k. Nice. Now, before we move on to the next step, I just want to say if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'm posting coin tips like this basically every single week. I'm going to do a part two to this series as well, where I go over zero to 500,000 coins and zero to 1 million. So if you want to stay on the lookout for both of those two series, be sure to hit that sub button down below. It's free and you can unsub at any time. And if you're watching this video a little bit later after it got posted, I've probably made those videos already. If I've done so, I'll leave them linked in the description. Would recommend you check those out at the end. Okay, so there we go. We've made some pretty easy coins. I'd probably recommend you do this set about 10 to 20 times. Make your like 30 to 60,000 coins of profit. Then let's move on to the next method. Now, to be fully honest, boys, there's not a ton of like super, super great coin making methods in this game. But let me talk about one that I don't mind. And that's going to be sniping on probably the most voluminous filter in Madden 24 right now. Voluminous? Is that a word? I'm not certain. <laughs> but what you're going to do is you're going to go to the quality 84 to 85. Unfortunately, you can't filter it down by the headliner promo. If you go by headliner, it literally won't work. It'll say there are no cards in this filter. So what you're going to have to do is you're actually going to have to just filter it down manually right here and go down by different teams. And essentially what you're going to look to do is you're going to try and buy these headliner cards at about 35,000 coins or less, and then you sell them for 40K. So yeah, there's honestly a ton of different cards that are available right now. Khalil Herbert and Tevin Jenkins are a couple of the options. So we filter it down by running back right here. We filter it down by bears. And all you'll really do is sit on this filter. If you see a card up for 35,000 coins or less getting posted up, you buy it and you sell the card for 40K. These players will sell at 40,000 coins. Really, all you're going to do is just flip between filters. So we'll take a look at running back. We'll take a look at right tackle. And we'll take a look at really any other filter where I can find some of these players. So yeah, to be honest with you guys, these are really two of the only low budget coin making methods in this game. Once you get up to some of the higher budget stuff there's a lot of ways you can make coins like once you're at like 200k and you have that wiggle room to do some of the bigger sets in this game there's a lot of sets you can do i'm going to expose one of them in today's video this is the bonus tip at the end right here i kind of wish i wasn't talking about this because i've made so so many coins on this but kenny pickett set if you didn't know requires 584 overall players so those 84 overall cards we were sniping before those are the players you would look to buy and you would try and get them for about like 37 or 35k if possible and then once you do that set right here, you're going to get Kenny Pickett. That's the one you're going to want to complete. As you guys will see, Kenny Pickett is selling for a pretty handsome amount of coins. He right now is up for 217, so about 220,000 coins. After tax, that's giving you about 200K-ish. So let's say, for example, we went here, we bought our 585 overall players. We got them for about like 36,000 coins. Let's say 36K. 36 times 5 is 180. That would mean if we went through, bought these cards at 36,000 coins, put them all into the set, I would be making 20,000 coins after profit, and that can be done really quickly. You can churn that out over and over again. Now, yeah, that's going to do it for me. If you guys have enjoyed today's video and you want to see how to get 89 Jalen Ramsey for free for your Madden team, click right here. I think you will enjoy that. And until next time, boys, I'm out. Peace!